Hi friends. Um, I miss you very, very much. I hope you're staying healthy and staying safe um, with your families. Um, I hope that you are checking Class Dojo and our class website, our uh, school website, to see what there is that you can do to keep your brains active and keep yourself busy while you're at home, okay? Today, we're gonna try something pretty fun, pretty simple. All you need is a pen, okay? If you have any kind of marker or Sharpies, that's awesome but most of us don't have these at home. That's fine, okay? Most important, pens. And it doesn't have to be Cheez-Its. It can be toilet paper tubes, paper towel tubes, really any kind of cardboard, okay? So like this is a box I made from Jello. All you need is this cardboard, any kind. Heck, you can even use paper, I don't, it doesn't matter, okay? Just something. Look in the garbage or recycling bin at your house, okay? And let's get started. Woo! Okay, beautiful people. Like I told you, all you need is a pen or Sharpie. You could probably do this with pencils, too. Like, this is a regular pencil. You can, you can use pencil, too. Okay. I'm going to start with one of the tubes because those are fun. Okay. So, mini toilet paper tube, paper towel tube, whatever. Okay. So, these can become, I'm going to turn these into monsters. Okay. Yours can become whatever you want. The monster is just an idea for you. Okay. Okay. If you have scissors at home, okay, that's awesome. I'm gonna show you how to do one with scissors, and then if you don't have scissors, I'll show you how to do one with just your hands, okay? So as you can see, I already cut this hole in my paper towel tube, and I did that by pinching the tube so it goes flat, okay? And then you cut whatever shape you want it to be. I did a triangle sort of shape, so I went diagonally like that and look at how my scissors are going away from me and I'm keeping my hand over here okay blade away from you okay and chomp chomp okay and then I'm gonna go like yeah I'm gonna make this one a little bit of a different shape than the other one okay cool I can wiggle wiggle kind of like a loose tooth I usually scream when I see your guys' loose teeth. They're all bloody and whatever. Okay, so wiggle wiggle, we got that out, and now we can open it back up. And what could this look like? It could be a mouth. It could be maybe the eye. I don't know. It can be up to you guys, whatever you want it to do. Let's save these for now because we can probably turn them into something else later. Okay? So, what if you don't have scissors? Okay? I'm going to talk about, let me do it this one, it's easier, okay? Um, if you have a paper towel tube, or what is this? No, toilet paper tube, but no scissors. Here's another way you can make holes in it, okay? I'm going to pinch it down again, and I'm going to pinch hard. If you are a younger student with teeny hands, this might be harder, okay? You might need to ask a sibling or grown-up for help, okay? So see how I pinched? And now I'm using both of my hands to make sure it goes in the direction I want it to, okay? But I'm careful, I'm gonna stop there because I want that to stay on, actually. Okay, I'm gonna pinch down this side again. I feel like this is turning into a penguin. I don't know. Okay. We're almost there again. Remember, look at how I'm using both my hands both my fingers, pinch, 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 to guide where I want it to go, okay? And look at that. No scissors needed. And now this creature has arms. No scissors needed again. Cool, cool. Okay, next what I'm gonna do with my pen, my marker, or my pencil, 
I am going to decorate my creatures, make sure that I can look at them and tell what they are, okay? I'm going to stop talking so that later I'll be able to speed up the video, okay? Um, and remember that what you see that I'm doing is just an idea for you. You do not need to copy me, okay? All right, here we go. Presenting Her Royal Highness, Queen Penguin. Ah, and the crowd goes wild. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm Queen Penguin. And this is my slide. Yay. Oops, that's okay. See, things fall down sometimes. And we just fix that. It's part of being an artist. Okay. Okay, so guys, as you can see, all I needed was my pen, my marker, if you have one, but you saw like I did um, her necklace and her crown um, and her bracelets just with the pen, so like you really don't need the marker. Oh, I said before that I, I had the toilet paper tube and the paper towel tube. I said I was going to turn both of them into creatures or animals or whatever. And guess what? I didn't. I changed my mind while I was creating. Um, I did make the one animal, the queen penguin. And then when I had the paper towel tube in my hand, the idea came to me to rip it apart and turn it into the slide. So that's part of the artistic process, right? Some of our fourth and fifth graders may have talked about that before. The artistic process is all about making those decisions while you are creating and while you are planning so that you can have the outcome that you want. So we have the cheetah, well not cheetos, I wish they were cheetos. We have Cheez-Its and the Jello box here. And I'm just gonna show you really quick how we can take them apart most easily, okay? And then I'm gonna speed up the video and you guys can just see what I create, all right? And give it your own try with what you have at hand at home and see what you can create, okay? Hello, Lincoln artists. Queen Penguin here to tell you that you have got to check out Cardboard Creations Part 2 to find out what's going to happen next. <laughs> 